Have you ever wondered just how hard it is to actually get jacked? Or why some people, you know, they seem to build muscle so easily while others struggle? Well, I've spent the last 17 years getting in shape and now more recently, I help other people do the same. And by this point, you know, I've got a pretty good understanding of what it actually takes to get jacked. So in this video, we're gonna answer that question so you know for you how hard it's gonna be for you to actually get jacked. I'll also explain why some people seem to build muscle so easily, yet others struggle. Uh, I'll also give you a simple fix that you can do to make uh, this process a lot easier because for some of you, this is not gonna be an overnight thing. And I'll also cover a couple of mistakes, the biggest mistakes uh, that people make when trying to get jacked, okay? So first of all, I just wanna start off with if you are not jacked right now, or if you don't look the way you want to look, relax, okay? Take the pressure off yourself. It's not all your fault because, you know, there's a lot of misinformation online and it's hard to know who to trust. You know, one minute you've got people saying plants are trying to kill you. Uh, and the next thing you've got people saying um, vegan diet is the best anti-aging diet. And there's a lot of conflicting information. You know, some people are saying you've got to do high volume, low intensity. Other people are saying you've got to do high intensity. And it's just confusing and overwhelming. And on top of that, you know, you spend a lot of time on Instagram, okay? You can end up thinking everyone has a top 1% physique except you. You know, why are all these guys in such phenomenal shape? And then you, you see them and then you look at yourself and you just, it's, it's disheartening and it's, 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 uh, it's not a good mental state to be in. Uh, you know, there's a quote that I really like, which is comparison is the thief of joy. So this is you versus you. Don't compare yourself to anyone else you see online, especially because it's not a fair comparison either, because a lot of these guys that you see online, the first thing that point that we have to discuss is genetics. Okay. Genetics play a massive factor in terms of your physique. And it's not just the genetics that you're born with. For example, um, you know, you have genetic response to training, genetic response to PEDs. So you might, your base physique before you've done any training whatsoever, might not be that particularly impressive, but some people then go and start training and they have a great response to training, okay? Or some people, you know, they train, they make some progress, but then they start taking PEDs and boom, they, there's a genetic response to that. Some people take PEDs and it doesn't really do much for them. Okay? If anything, it, it makes their physique worse. Okay. So the first point is genetics. Okay. A lot of these guys that you see online, they, they won the genetic lottery. Okay. So that's the first point to consider. And a lot of people use genetics as a cop out. Okay. Oh, uh, for example, for myself, my first few years of training, I built no muscle whatsoever. Well, there, not any noticeable gains, put it that way. And I used to tell myself, or I used to ask the question, am I a hard gainer? Do I have bad genetics? And the, the, the reality was, from, from what I've learned now, that it was far from the truth. But you've got to be careful. The stories that you tell yourself and also what you focus on, because genetics we can't change, okay? They're set in stone. So it's pointless even thinking about it. Be aware of genetics and understand when you see people online, they, they might, you know, have really good genetics, but don't focus on it. Don't, certainly don't use it as a cop-out. A lot of people just use it as a cop-out, like, oh, I have bad genetics. And that's the reason they don't have the physique that they want. And it, that's usually, usually not the case. The second point that we need to discuss, we have to discuss this, is PEDs, okay? If you're natural and you have, you want to stay natural completely, do not compare yourself to people online who are on PEDs, okay? Because it's, it's just not a fair comparison. It's like comparing apples to oranges, okay? So just understand that there are people online and a lot of people are open about it these days, but you know, there's definitely a few fake natties as well. And sometimes I see people online. I am a little bit curious, you know, are they natural, are they not? but I'm not losing sleep about it. I'm certainly not, you know, hating on them for it. Like, who cares? At the end of the day, this is about you. This is about you and how hard it's gonna be for you to get jacked. So don't compare yourself to anyone else. It's not really, it's not good for your mental state, but also 
You can't control any of these external factors. You can't con control your genetics either. Let's focus on the things that you can control, okay? Because that is the only way you're actually going to make progress, okay? So let's, uh, let's cover. That's the reason why some people get jacked so easily and others don't. One, because uh, of genetics. Two, because of PDs. And the third is because some people are just a lot more dedicated to this than others are, okay? So, I want to give you a, a simple fix to stay motivated, okay? So, uh, when I was younger, uh, I started playing video games online. The first online video game that I played was Call of Duty. It's a first-person shooter, extremely addictive. I'd never played online before, and I started playing this game, and it's, they've got like a point system, and you kill each other, and you can level up and rank up and get new weapons. And I started playing this game, I was like, oh my god, this game is so much fun. And I ended up spending days and days and days playing this game. So, so much to the point I would, I would look for any opportunity to play this game. I would skip school to try and play this game. I would come up with some elaborate excuse as to why uh, you know, I needed to stay home and just play this game. And, and some days I would play this game all day. I'm talking you know, 16 hours in a day. I would take breaks to go to the bathroom. I would eat whilst I was playing this game. Like, I was obsessed, okay? And through that obsession, and just because, I, and at no point did I ever think about quitting this game. I didn't want to quit, I didn't want to stop, okay? Because I loved it. And naturally, because I loved, this video game, I got very good at it. You know, I was like one of the highest ranked players in the world at one point, just through pure volume and reps. Okay, so is there a way we can find, is there a way that you can enjoy the process? Because if you're very, very much focused on, you know, the destination and where you need to get to, you're potentially gonna get discouraged along the way, okay? so. You've got to try and find a way to enjoy the process. A lot of people have this faulty belief that getting jacked, getting in shape, it has to be restrictive, it has to be tough, and it doesn't. It's far from the truth. Anyone who you see online who's got a great physique, they love it. They enjoy it. If anything, they need to, you know, force themselves to have time away from the gym just because, uh, you know, they've got to a point where they just enjoy it so much. So you've got to find a way to enjoy it and that might be not always going to the gym that might be doing fitness classes that might be doing some different kinds of activities you know that's a great advantage of hiring a coach is it's it's you know their job as well as your job to figure out together what can you do that's enjoyable that you're going to be able to stick to for the long term and that's going to help you get to the goals that you want to achieve right so try and find a way to fall in love with the process. There is an alternative universe right now, okay, where you enjoy getting jacked and you enjoy taking care of your body and you enjoy the nutrition and all the other aspects that go into it. And if you enjoy it, well, your chances of quitting are so much smaller, okay? The, the number one reason why people don't get jacked is because they quit, simple, okay? So how can we not quit? Well, if you enjoy the process, then you're far less likely to quit, all right? Okay, so that's a simple fix uh, for you to stay motivated, is to simply to enjoy the process, okay? Now let's focus on a couple of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, okay? Now, my friend's younger brother came out to Bali last year from England. Uh, I live in Bali, by the way. And um, he hung around me and my, a few of my friends for a few weeks, and he was like, oh, you guys are in great shape, but you're also pretty normal. Like when I see these these people online who are in amazing shape, uh, you know, I, 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 like I admire them, but I can't ever imagine that I would be them because they feel so far away from where I'm from right now. But having hung out with you guys, you're just normal people. You're just normal people. Yeah, you enjoy working out. You, you enjoy being healthy, but uh, you're not like superhuman. You're not doing anything that I couldn't do. And, and now I have this belief, okay? So a lot of people, they just simply don't believe in themselves. For example, for myself, when I was younger, I believed I was a hard gainer. I believed I had bad genetics. And guess what? That was my reality. If I think I'm a hard gainer and I think I've got bad genetics, then I'm probably gonna to struggle to build muscle, okay? And I'm not just saying you can think your way to get injected. You still gotta put in the right actions. But our minds are so powerful. Our subconscious mind and what we believe to be true 
kind of dictates what's going on around us without us even being aware of it because you might be, think you're putting in the right actions but if it's not backed by the right belief if you think this is not going to work uh, and this there's no point in doing this well deep down that's going to be your reality okay because your beliefs uh, dictate your thoughts and your thoughts dictate your actions and if we want to put in the right actions the easiest thing to do is to change our belief system okay so you've got to find a way to believe in yourself uh, when I was younger I had such low confidence okay my, my confidence was so low at some points that I would find it hard to pick up the phone and make a phone call I would find it not 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 just to a stranger but to someone I know and I know there's guys out there right now your confidence is low and you, so low that you even you know struggle to make a phone call to someone that you know if you're in that situation right now we've got to build you up okay we've got to build up your confidence and the best way to do that is to get in the gym and start seeing some results because as soon as you start seeing some results that becomes your drive and that becomes your determination right okay that's the first biggest mistake the second second biggest mistake is uh well i can describe this with another story i got a friend out here um i come out the sauna one day and he's like oh man you're in such good shape um i i just don't i just don't know what's going on I, i've tried everything and i just i just can't seem to get i can't seem to get the belly fat off i can't seem to get in shape okay and he said his exact words were I've tried everything. Now, when, any, when anyone says to me that they've tried everything, I am a little bit skeptical because there's a lot of things to try, okay? You know, realistically, have you tried everything? Probably not. I was like, okay, you know what? Let's, let's help him out. Let's, uh, let's grab a session together. So we grab a gym session together. Form is terrible. I'm like, right, okay. We probably need to fix a few things here. We grab some food afterwards, diet horrendous <laughs> i'm like okay yeah probably don't eat these things maybe eat more of these things and uh yeah just do this do this a few quick fixes here and there and uh i was just laughing to myself because he said that he tried everything but clearly he hadn't he hadn't he hadn't tried much at all uh you know i don't think he did if you even watch a video like this for example okay so a few months go by uh and then he comes to me and he's like oh you'll never guess what I, like i'm actually seeing progress now i'm like oh wow what a surprise okay so um the next biggest mistake that people make is they believe that they're doing everything correctly and the reason they don't have a physique is because they have bad genetics or because everyone's on peds and they're not or because of some other external factor they're very quick to point the finger outwards and say this is the reason why or this is the reason why but the reality is you and only you are going to build a physique and a body that you're proud of and this is why um you know building a physique is so uh kind of like life-changing it's not because you have muscles and boom everything changes it's because the person that you've got to become who's capable of building a physique well you, you've you've got to have internal changes as well as external changes right okay so find a way to um well you just got to the, the simple way is to just develop yourself the quickest thing to do is to hire a coach and yes i'm a coach i'm biased but i'm not even talking about me find someone else online if you want results the fastest the easiest way possible that is through a coach because you leverage someone else's expertise and they can Hold your hand through the whole process and make it as easy as possible for you to execute and hit your goals. But if you don't want to do that, you're not in a position to do that, then you've got to study. You've got to watch videos like this. You've got to buy training programs, read books. And if this sounds like a lot of work, then yeah, it can be a lot of work, especially at the beginning when you don't have much knowledge. But if you were to ask me um, when I was younger, is getting jacked hard? I would have said 100%, so hard, you know. And I probably would have brought up the facts. Did you know, by the way, in the US, there are more millionaires than there are guys with six packs. Can you believe that? There's more millionaires than, the guy, <laughs> than, the guy, than guys with six packs. Now, when I hear that quote, it sounds, sounds pretty hard to me, but having gone through this process and helping other people go through this process, if you ask me the same question now, is getting jacked hard? I'd say no, 
No, it's not hard, it's easy. It's easy when you have the right strategy and when you have the knowledge. And if you're not jacked, then it's a skill issue. It's not any other issue. And, and I just wanna define jacked, okay? I'm not talking about Chris Bumstead <laughs> level jacked, okay? I believe anyone can get jacked. But when I'm talking about jacked, I'm talking about lean and muscular, six pack, or at least abs are showing. You've got the bicep veins, you know, you, you've, you've, you've got some rounded shoulders, you know, you're just lean and muscular. And more importantly, it's a body that you're proud of. Anyone, anyone can get, build a, a, a physique and a body that they're proud of. It's incredibly easy when you've got the right system and the right strategy, okay? It's not uh, a genetics issue for most people. It's not a lack of PEDs, okay? 99 times out of 100, it's a skill issue or it's a commitment issue. So just get committed, find a way to enjoy the process, develop yourself, read books, buy training programs, hire a coach. And if you do this and you do the right actions for a long enough time period, it's impossible that you don't get the result that you're looking for. But if you do the wrong actions, okay, like you're probably doing right now, you're probably not doing things correctly, you're probably not seeing any results, well, it's only a matter of time before you quit. So I don't want that to happen to you. The fact that you're still watching this video right now says something about you. Most people don't make it this far. So I believe in you, okay? I believe in you, you can do this. Go out there, get as jacked, as, as humanly, as naturally as possible, and I'll catch you in the next one.